Uh, Saturdays with Chicken Duck, episode 130. It's a lot. Uh, joining us this week, Ryan McWilliams, uh, DJ Valid, uh, local DJ, obviously. And uh, you have your own podcast. Yes. And uh, you have all kinds of stuff, and we're going to get into that. Yep. So um, I'd like to. I got to ask what your shirt is all about. This? Because I, I, I literally just saw it. Now I can't think about anything else. This is uh, Brody Stevens. Mm -hmm. He was a comedian in the United States. Dead. Killed himself uh, <sighs> a couple months ago. Oh. Yeah. So. What's the 818? He, that was his area code. Oh, uh, which is? And he was always like 818 Pratt, or somewhere in California. Uh. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. Huh. So. Well, that's both sad, depressing, and... I mean, thanks for enlightening, I guess. <laughs> you asked. Uh, I guess. You gotta spread the word. Good. It's better than a podcast, a <laughs> competing podcast. He right? has, uh, you can go check out his podcast. There's no, obviously, no new episodes He's coming out. Not, <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was a little morbid, but. <laughs> God. There's still episodes there. <laughs> Think about it. When we're, somebody's gonna, when we're gone, they're Tupac. Saturdays. Tupac's with gonna keep putting music out, too. <laughs> It's gonna be great. Yeah, somebody will have to live on in the ch in the in the chicken duck name. Someone will have to continue paying for the SoundCloud. So it <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it. So I'll generations to put it come. On a company we'll card <laughs> and just bury it somewhere. <laughs> really. They'll never know what company card. I don't know. Art? We'll talk about the that Saturday later. No, <laughs> another company card. <laughs> a company. I that, have a company card. That's what I mean. A company that'll last longer than chicken. Well, a chick that'll last longer than us, anyway. Yeah, there's not too many around. No, I We're mean, gonna, really. We've been going strong for a while. So, uh, anything else exciting? Before we, uh, no, not really. Um, I had a couple things I wanted to fight with you. I about, mean, I do I have, a, I have a bunch of shit, but I want to get into what Ryan's been up to. So, what have you been uh, up to, Ryan? Well, like like he was saying, just working full time, day job, working the DJing on the weekends at night, pretty yep. much same old shit. Where uh, where all are you DJing regularly? Um, bounces around a little bit. Um, I've been down in uh, Maniunk, worked a couple places down there, Bourbon Blue. I don't know if you ever heard. It's right on the canal. It's a, a kind of yeah. It's a bar yeah. restaurant. Kind of kind of chill spot. Not really, you know, party ish. But Manny Young's a transient town. They're in and out of everywhere. So sure. stuff like that. Um, Phoenixville. Like next Friday, I'll be at a uh, Crowded Castle Brewing Company. Nice. And I think the music starts at eight thirty there or something like that. But uh, another cool little spot. Just kind of ambience. And then I've done other. I mean, I've been around. I did the Liberty Tap Room in the Ale House on occasion. And I like it down there. That's, yeah, it's a nice spot. Just pretty much if they, if they call and ask or or message me on Facebook and ask and I'm available, I'm open to pretty much anywhere. So nice. How'd you get into it? Well, uh, back. Sorry, <laughs> dude. But uh, back right after, probably right after high school, just kind of doing house parties and stuff, playing music. Just always had an interest in music, and I never really pursued it. I want to say back 2005-ish or whatever. I used to go to 1402 when that was around mm -hmm. and play poker on Friday nights. Mm -hmm. And I just got talking with the DJ in there, Sean West, and he was like, uh, I'll make you a deal if you start providing me some of like, what's popular right now music-wise because he was like from – he's a little older than me, so he was like, I'm not up to date on the music. So I kind of worked out a deal. He's like, I'll start teaching you how to do this. Like actually doing it, not just you know burning some Started, CDs right, and playing yeah, some music, right. you know. So I started, I kind of fell into a position at 1402 with him kind of teaching me and eventually ended up being the, the main guy there for up until it closed. And then after that, it's just, like I said, wherever. Sure. Local. Yeah. Local scene. Mostly. Well, Philadelphia, yep. Berks County area. Uh, I'd have to assume, so like when you got into it, it was pre-digital. It was starting to be. Um, when I first started, it was basically we were doing CDs when I started doing it at the club. Right. We, we would burn CDs, and usually what we'd do is, because you'd have, like, double-deck CD players and stuff, we'd burn, like, two copies of, like, 20 songs, and then we'd have, like, we could go back and forth without having to, like, two of the songs we want to play on the same disc or sure. something, you know. But it went from that, and the, the, the laptops were starting to come into it then, and it just made it way easier. I mean, it's a gift and a curse because it makes it easy to take a ton of music with you everywhere you go. But on the flip side with technology, now everybody's a DJ. Yeah. So it's now yeah. you're running into guys that will 
do your event for 50 to 100 sure. bucks and the same thing as photography yes same exactly. thing exactly website exactly. design yep. website mm-hmm. anything that anybody can you get a free mm-hmm. open source program on the internet yeah, it's kind of become like the fiverr.com sure. for djs now so sure. yeah <laughs> it's crazy podcasts though. too i mean mm-hmm. that's how we got started <laughs> we were just Analog. like yeah we could do that real to real <laughs> we can download a bunch of free shit and start ordering things one at a time yep that's yeah right. and then uh, 130 episodes later here we yeah, are it's crazy how we first started with just a tiny little in my... it was just a well it was upstairs first <laughs> but we started with just i think my mom got it for me a for my birthday thing. or something it was just like a little box and i didn't even get one that we had to figure out how to set it up through the computer yeah. because i didn't get one with i didn't think to get that you could get one with a usb card <laughs> <laughs> i uh there was a couple of trial and errors until we actually got any oh, i've been listening for a right. long time yeah. so <laughs> so so Spe- yeah. speaking of which i mean it's a, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to be on after morgani last week <laughs> like, like my my brain honestly, hurts man. after i listen to Yours? it literally Your brain i can't hurts. i don't know how you guys do it honestly how do you think we, we did it for a long time your brain hurts. And I yeah. was trying to get him to stay for another week. I just sat there and just listen, man. You got to just absorb it. I'm just like everybody else. Yeah, he's. I, I, I had to rewind a couple of times to figure out what story he was on at the time because he goes from one right. See, I don't. I didn't have that luxury. Yeah. I don't have. I can't just rewind while he's sitting mm-hmm. here going crazy. Yeah. Like I, I was watching it, just like you know, just like I'm watching this right now yeah. li- live mm-hmm. unfold. Uh, but there's no stopping him. <laughs> it's like a fucking freight train of complete yeah. confusion and lunacy. Although, it is it's nice to be able to slow things down, yeah. Ryan. So thanks well, for joining in, us. In his defense, it's never not entertaining. <laughs> what, it's oh, just... So I said to him, I said, Morgani's coming. I said, I don't have to do shit this <laughs> yeah. week. I don't have to know what I'm doing or talking about or anything. Yeah, he is... Uh... He is definitely a scatterbrain. Oh, he posted pictures yesterday. I gotta be honest. I think I gave myself. I have a hernia. <laughs> I laughed so freaking hard. I, I. Well, I'm glad we're we're doing video now because now people can actually see, see, see how he the is. Madness. <laughs> well, the arm should be. I mean, if there was a oh, thumbnail yeah, yeah. of the video, that should be what and, it is. Uh, uh, I forget what I was gonna say now. He. Uh, I have no clue. Lost. Totally fucking spaced. Lost. Oh no, no! It's easier. It's completely easier now because I when when he used to be on, I I used to have to go back and listen to it like five six times when I was doing the editing, mm-hmm. like for everything. Now I you just think you have picked up his language. Oh no! Now I just dump it and put the video <laughs> on the audio, <laughs> and like I put the video up, and I was like, oh shit! I forgot to cut his address out. <laughs> So then I had to go back and I had to figure out. Now I know how to cut sections out of the video, though. Oh, that's good. I, fa- I figured that out on uh, Lightworks I used. Oh. So instead of, but it would have been a lot easier if I would have just put a beep, you know. And then I wouldn't have had to figure <laughs> what that did out. What you do? I actually just cut the whole cut, audio? No, I cut like a section of the video out mm. when Everything. when he said his address. Just like, just his address. Mm. You and do. it comes back to him like laughing hysterically because because <laughs> we were saying that we don't do the audio anymore. Yeah. And I guess he was like really nervous about it and he was laughing and I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> he's so funny, dude. <laughs> so yeah, he's he's already, I think, back in Texas. Mm-hmm. He was good. on his way. Back working. Who I don't even want to get back. <laughs> I really don't. It's not fair to anybody. <laughs> How did you come up with the name DJ Valid? Um, I actually didn't come up with my own name. Ah. Like when I first started, like kind of apprenticing, if you will, at 1402, mm-hmm. I didn't really have a name. And then they wanted to put me on something and they wanted a name. And actually it was Sean West that said, you know, you should go with the name DJ Valid. And then he was like, somebody said, why Valid? He goes, cause he, he knows his shit. He's legit, you, you know? So it just kind of stuck. So yeah. like, I, I still run into a lot of people like that'll know me just from DJing. Yeah, yeah. They'll see me in like, out, like the mall or the farmer's market or something like like what's up, Valid? I'm like, you know, my name. My name is Ryan. You know, like I, it's 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 nice for the promo, but yeah, I'm not yeah. trying to go around as right. like some pseudo celebrity. You know, right. so right. We're gonna need you to sign something then. Yeah, before yeah. You leave. <laughs> A couple stickers. We're gonna sell them on eBay. Casey's waiting for his day to shine. Yeah. Somebody oh, asked. Man, somebody I'm asked him. So you need me to sign that T-shirt? <laughs> no, dude. I don't need you to sign my fucking T-shirt. Jesus Christ. I'm trying so hard. I plug. 
everywhere. When people start asking you to fly around the fucking country to just talk to them. Oh, yeah, like Joel? Right. Yeah, then yeah. I'll mm-hmm. accept your... Then I, that Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I will accept well, your autograph. Nice, I will be proud to be like, yeah, dude, my boy goes around and <laughs> talks and trains people. I you saw, just you check roofs. <laughs> I saw a meme the other day. It was someone like on their deathbed and uh, someone like going down to console them. And the guy on his deathbed is like, have you heard my podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I man. Tell everybody about it. I bring it up on the roof, like in conversation all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I avoid the conversation at work. I avoid it. Like, somebody will bring it up, and I'll be like, yeah, it, I don't like talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I always, I always somehow bring up the podcast, and then I work Evil Knievel into the conversation. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> the Evil Knievel would, Museum. What happened to you just not talking to somebody? Like, I don't you, know. There, at some point, you made a distinct change. That just. Like, I think it's the podcast. <laughs> it's, self, <laughs> it's like a fucking spiral. Self-medication. Incredibly rude. Incredibly rude. We have a, a visitor. Not <laughs> He's not making it. No. no boo. Been occupied all morning, he said. Last right, week in the, the day. Th- just the three of us. That's fine. It's all right. So, uh, Ryan and I graduated together. Mm-hmm. If everybody should know that. Mm-hmm. A year ahead of me. Yes. Yeah. A, and a different school. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that Last too. week in the day. <laughs> uh, my name was actually Ryan also. <laughs> It wasn't. <laughs> Man, everybody wants to talk to us. So, uh, you have a uh, you have a little child of your own now, too? Yes. Right? He'll be three at the end of the month. Definitely keeps you uh, on your toes. A little child. Of, I'm sorry, <laughs> of Ryan. My own. You have a little child of your own, yes. Casey wants to know. That sounded <laughs> really fucking creepy. <laughs> yeah. We were talking prior to recording, and we... Ryan and I were talking about our children. <laughs> so that was the most <laughs> awkward way to segue to have a children conversation. So I'll take it so, from here, bud. <laughs> oh, my God. Sign up for our Patreon. Oh, my God. God a conversation that I might be. I think I'm a little scatterbrained as well because I was just trying to go back into Holy something. Holy shit. So <laughs> you say he's, a, he's, a, he's three-ish. He'll be, he'll be three at the end of the month, nice. so. Yeah, uh, Carter will be two in October, and it's it's something. Well, just get ready; it gets oh, worse. It's, so it's, every day, it, like escalates another, yeah. you know, fifty percent. <laughs> I just so, said the other day. I said, you know, they warn you about the terrible twos. I said I didn't know they become little assholes around well, three from time to time. It's so only, it's natural progression because now, so like now he, you know, up until very recently, if he wanted something or if anything wasn't going his way, he'd you know flop on the ground and scream mm-hmm. and carry on. You know, his mom, and now he <clears throat> now he uses his words, although he doesn't know what any of them mean. <laughs> so he just babbles incessantly about co- you know complete nonsense. But there's a lot of like he's got the pronunciation mm-hmm. and the you know the way it, just the cadence of talking. To, so like it sounds like he's having a conversation in a foreign language, which yeah. he very well might be. Yeah. Um, I just it's it's fucking hysterical mm-hmm. you know it's equatable to like just following around a complete drunken midget pretty like, much pretty much sums it up all yeah. day mm-hmm. you know at any moment could piss and shit anywhere then fight you to clean himself up <laughs> on Johnny a, M. <laughs> <laughs> sorry John I love you John uh, I just I can't get over how now like the talking like so I'd, I'd imagine it at next year it's only going to be that much more interesting yeah, it, because now he's going to have a whole other year of vocabulary. He'll, to start he'll understand yelling. what he's saying. Right. That's the issue. And right. Like my, my kid understands. He'll ask you the same question five different ways. Right. We, we stopped at Weiss yesterday <laughs> up in Oli. We were just up there and he's like, why are we stopping? I'm like, I have to get soda. Well, why are we here? <laughs> I just told you. Well, wh- why? When are we going to go? You know, like he'll just keep asking different questions over and over. I said it's kind of like um, it's a it's a very love hate relationship. <laughs> you you love them, you want to hug them, and then there's other times you just want to like you know grab them by the throat and kind of be like, what is wrong with you? So, Stop asking me what we're yes. doing. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he is a lot. It's it's insane how uh, it, there's moments where it's just complete mm-hmm. 
absolute insanity. Like, he'll flop down in the middle of mm. a parking lot over, you know, taking away the rotten piece of fruit that he picked mm-hmm. up in the same parking yep. lot. So, how do you argue with that? Like, there's no argument. I don't. No. I will never have a child. <laughs> so... Of my own. Because of the accident. A little child of my own. Because of the accident. <laughs> what accident? I don't know. We were... I would, I would imagine you had, like, some recording equipment too close to your genitals or something. Oh, maybe. I mean, I don't know. My mom used to always tell me not to stand in front of the microwave. <laughs> See, dude, anyway. That's exactly where you said you just stood there night and day. That's kind of how my Whether kid is right now. it was right on now. or not. Nothing in it. Turn it on anyway. I gotta stand here. Beep. What's Casey doing? He's upstairs in the kitchen again. In Never wants to have way. kids. Beep. <laughs> that's that's pretty much the phase my kid's at, though. He you tell him one thing, he does the opposite. Oh, so I've, I'm absolutely reverse psychology and the so, shit yeah. out of him because oh, yeah, I'm like, yeah. don't sit on the couch. Yeah, you know, don't sit on the couch. <laughs> yeah, throw your dishes at your mother. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I got you. He actually he's so we went to a picnic last night. And it was in a, I mean, it was an older, it was an adult picnic. Yeah. It ended up, there was a couple other kids there. Uh, kid was a year or two older than him and probably half of Car- Carter's size, right? Little, I mean, he was a smaller boy, but. Sure. Yeah. Carter's about the size of Charlie. Right. Who's three. S- yeah. So I would put this kid at about three, three and a half. Uh, so Carter and him playing and. He's playing with Carter's toys, and then he's on Carter's tractor. We took the little pedal tractor over. Carter's pushing him around the yard, and everything was fine. And then he got Carter got him off, and you know the kid was like, "Okay." And then he had Carter's police car, which we found Carter brought back to a from a playground. Wasn't his. <laughs> the playground was empty, so it's not like he jacked the yeah. kid and took his police yeah. car. But, like, we got home, and I'm like, that's not ours. And she's like, well, he put it in the bag. I'm like, well, I guess it's ours now. I'm like, So, uh, kids got that police car. Carter wants it. I, and I'm just watching this from, you know, mm-hmm. he's been fine up until now. I'm telling you, like that, Carter just takes two hands and goes, boop, right to the kid's, like, left shoulder. So that shoulder. Uh, but like, right like that. Like, <laughs> knocks this kid right off his feet. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Like just spun the kid right off his feet. I get, I got old, three and a half. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, easily a year older than my son. Uh huh. So now, prior to this incident, <clears throat> I had overheard them warning to keep the kid, that child away, keep the dogs away from him. He doesn't like the dogs. And then like, I saw him a couple times run screaming past me. Ah! You know, like the fuck dog, the dogs, yeah. right, right, pussy. So, he had the same look of fear for my son for the rest of the <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> and I was like walking past him. <laughs> no, like, the sprint. <laughs> there was day, yeah, and then uh, I'm not, maybe an, a half hour before we left, um, they're there. They had, uh, cor- <laughs> they had cornhole set up. Uh-huh. So, you know, they had a couple extra cornhole boxes, and the kids were using them as ramps for their matchbox cars. Uh, Carter stands up and just shoves this kid again. Same thing. Shoulder, like, splits him in half. Like, I even recall Kelly Murphy teaching us how to do this in football (laughs) camp. I'm telling you. And just, boop, and knocks this kid clear off of his feet right in front of everyone. I'm like... Jesus Christ, Carter, you can't. T- I go over there and pick him up. I'm like, I think we're ready to go. Was the kid? Did the kid do something to? No, the- I watched the whole thing. <laughs> Not even the first time. Uh, the first time they were like kind of arguing about what, uh, like a toy or something, back and forth. Mm-hmm. The second time they were having fun, and Carter laughingly <laughs> shoved this kid like he was supposed to enjoy it. <laughs> And then was looking at me like, <laughs> dude, I, I'm fucking running across the yard. Like, no, you can't do that. Don't do that. Say you, you're sorry. Wait, you ran. I well, shuffled. It wasn't very far. I was pretty close. I was pretty close. 
So, uh, and then he apologized and gave the kid a hug, like gave him a legit hug. Aww. And then uh, I said, okay, let's, I think it's time for bed. Yeah, that's about it. About seven o'clock, I think it's time we mosey on home now. So, uh, but <laughs> Jesus Christ knocked him right off of his feet. And, I, and like, I couldn't help but be happy about it. I was like, oh, that was a really good shove. And he's, he knows it yep. works. He did it twice. <laughs> so... Uh, I think football is probably in his in his future. I think he's probably going to make out just fine. That's what I was going to ask. Uh, as parents, um, now we all three the three of us we all played football. Dude, they'll together. have like inflatable fucking explosion proof helmets by the mm -hmm. time he's old enough to play, or they won't even be using pads by the time he's old enough to play football. Like they'll be playing in a bowl of Jello or something. Who the fuck knows? The way that the way that child sports are progressing. He won't like have physical contact until he's fourteen or sixteen. Do you think they'll switch everything over to like flag, flag? Most something? of it already is. A I lot of the younger kids are playing you flag. Like when we started at like no. six, they're playing flag now. Hell I think yeah. you have to be like eight till they have contact Tackle? now or yeah. something like that. Yeah. And the same thing goes for other sports. Like they, like any of the like well, hockey right sports, any of that shit. You have to wear full like head. I think baseball. They have a lot of those kids have to wear helmets whether they're on. Whether they're like yeah, I saw, I saw that like softball, like little league softball. <laughs> like kids, like they, they have to the wear helmets on the helmets. field. They're wearing yeah. like full guarded masked yeah. helmets. Like yeah, you, people remember... probably get really sick of paying like you know insurance for getting the kids teeth bashed mm -hmm. in from a fly ball. Yeah, they have like if you, you remember just check your teeth yeah. subconsciously. <laughs> yeah, <I did. laughs> But if you remember, like, they used to have, like, the regular baseball helmets and they had the ones with, like, the little face guard. They yeah. all wear all the face guard now. Yeah. All and they have to wear them on the field. I saw somebody. The kicker. And the, like, the pitchers wear fucking vests. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's yeah, crazy. I saw a friend of mine, her daughters are playing softball and had that. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, like those air helmets. We were yeah. all in the same sports. All three of us were MTAA at that age. So, yeah. I remember the helmets used to, like, shatter when they get hit, you get hit <laughs> yeah. in the head and the helmet, like, exploded. It was like, that was real safe for us. <laughs> the first couple of years, I don't even know where those would have came from. No. Like, where those guys came up with that equipment the first few yeah. years of the program. I'm sure they were from the, the high school. Mm -hmm. and, and Passed down from, well, like, the probably. 70s. I had just 80s, found uh, out. Yeah, 80s, I guess. Like, there was, like, a Laureldale and a Temple football team. Yeah, I and just like saw, baseball I saw somebody posted a picture yeah, somewhere, I, I and followed, it was like, I'm in that Laureldale group. football or yeah. whatever. I was like, what? they had Back fucking cheerleaders yeah. and everything. Wow. Yeah. Uh, 60s. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a group on Facebook. Oh, yeah? What's yeah. the group? I think it's, if you know, you know if you're from Muhlenberg, if yeah. is the name of the group. Hmm. Cool. So, it's pretty, she posted a lot, the, the couple of the admins posted some pretty cool pictures. So... Check it out. Yeah, I will. I get, cool. I get 50 cents every time I say that. <laughs> Not a sponsor. I like history. <laughs> There's no museums for Muhlenberg Township, yeah. unfortunately. There's, there, yeah, there could be. You could get it there started. There might be. You could start it up. Should we start one here? We got a little bit of room over here on the other side of the studio. The other side of the studio. <laughs> yeah. uh, My you laundry mean? room, you mean? <laughs> Now, now the question would be: What would you put in a museum of Muhlenberg's well, history? Muhlenberg I mean, uh, there'd be a whole. There'd have to be a whole JY room, I guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, a lot of Muhlenberg football. The ninety-nine years. That's really it. The ninety-nine <laughs> years. <laughs> what else is there? Uh, no, there's a lot of history here. We had over over by the water tower. Well, actually, right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of Howard Hughes's planes it was Burn Township. I've done some extensive research. No, I thought it wasn't. It was, I thought it, it was, was the field across the street from us. It was not. It was further up. It was actually technically across the river, and in Burn Township. I don't mm. believe you. Well, I'm not into lying to our fans. <laughs> because, but if you want to take, you want to take credit for me buying my house because I thought this is where he crashed his plane, then so be it. I know or knew someone that saw that plane on fire. Crash. On fire, flying through the air. Johnny. Johnny Kleckner, and he knows for a fact that it was in this field. He drove over here. Right away. I don't know. This I don't know if he <laughs> drove over But he saw it, and he, kn he told me that it was in this field by the water tower. And I always believe everything Mr. Kleckner said. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at the old Google. Sure looks like a fire to me. That is a fire. Historic plane crash. 
northeast of the municipal airport. So. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait. What it, does that it, say? It, <laughs> At it, that time, Muhlenberg Township was bigger. <laughs> it was oh, bigger. oh, Muhlenberg. Oh, so at one time, you're telling me now that you want to you want to claim that Burn Township was at one time part of Muhlenberg Township. I'll tell you in a second where that where exactly that plane land or crashed. I've looked for it before, and it was not where I thought it was. We might have to we might have to cut this until I find it because it's <laughs> incredibly important. It was <sighs> by the water tower. Where the water tower stands now, it wasn't there then. It was just a big open field. You just hate to be wrong, and I, and you're wrong. Mm-hmm. Just admit it, buddy. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to bring that up, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, last week's podcast, mm-hmm. uh, you had said that mm-hmm. uh, Morgan, huh. guitarist Jimbo Atwards... You said it was an ampersand? Yeah, I, t- I take that one back. I mm-hmm. was wrong. I, I admitted that through text message already. That I, as I soon as I said up. that, I was like, "Fuck, that was incorrect." And right. it's just actually called at, at. sign mm. guitarist Jimbo. So G- Jimbo wants to make at words a word. So <clears throat> Jimbo thinks that at is actually pronounced at words. Well, he that's what he the discussion to, was last week. He wants to make. It that yeah, that's kind of what I got out of it listening to it. Yeah, so. see, I don't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wants to make it that. How? At words, guitarist Jimbo. That, at it's words. been at since its inception. Why would no? It? It's called at sign. When you t- when you say it, it's at right. But if so, you're trying to say at words, th- when would you say it? <laughs> I it, I want to punch my mouth when I say that out loud. Follow me at at words, Casey oh, Shear. <laughs> that sounds so Follow me fucking stupid. At, at words. <laughs> That's yeah, not no, gonna it's work. Gonna, it's, it's not gonna take off. Now that I say it and think about it, Ugh. I was agreeing with him last week when I was on the phone with him. All right, we have some more here, but it's not very helpful. No, because it's telling the truth that it was in the field here near <laughs> your house. <laughs> yeah, I'm arguing that it's not at my house. The The field across from my house is where I thought it was. It's literally, which is literally like down the, one block down the street. Yeah, it, it wasn't that field. No, it was down a little further where the water tower is. That is where the water tower is, Casey. That farm is right up against the water tower. Okay, well, that's where it was. Nope. Oh, my God. See what I have to deal with? I'm not giving up, dude. You're wrong. Nope. Yeah, see, I can't find it. I thought I pinned it. (laughs) I wish we would have known that. I wish I would have known and been prepared for this conversation. (laughs) You fucking blindsided me again. (laughs) Unbelievable. (laughs) So, uh, amateur hour. Would you like to know what I did uh, in the last two days? I was. So, I I've been waiting. <laughs> Me so, and Ryan were talking like we couldn't couldn't believe what it's taken this long to get to you. What what have you been doing? <laughs> Go ahead while I look for this. So, uh, two nights ago on uh, Friday, well, it would have been last week in the day, um, Barbara. I was upstairs actually framing some of these uh, new posters here. What did you find? What was that about? This is a. This is not the same flight. No, it's not. TWA flight five one three, Star of Lisbon. Crashed in a training flight on July eleventh, near Reading, PA. Where did it crash? Oh, it crashed at the accident site. In Burn Township, Berks County. Here, right here, we have this little number. <laughs> this little number. You're right going to go over Wikipedia that anyone that you could have changed prior to me getting here. <laughs> then a Reading Eagle article. A company that's now almost out of business. It was on its way for the runway. For the airport. What? A horse ship map is this. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, that's Wikipedia's map. See, here's your, here's your. Uh, is that on. where we are? That's no, I'm over here. This is me right here. If you if you go by the red spot, it's at the airport, I think. No, the airport is this way over here. Oh, okay. If you go right across over the river, the river. right right in here is the airport. Yeah, that's the airport. And that's got it up maybe. Well, so you agreed in agree. there's. <laughs> All right, keep going because I'll find other. <laughs> I'll further my. I'll get. I'll cite some references. Agree to disagree. So I was upstairs framing some more uh, posters. I went to Michael's. There was a sale. Oh, the frame guy, Michael. 40% off at Michael's, the craft store. Don't you know how to make your own frames? Do you know how much time it would take me to make all these frames? Not like if you were doing it all at once. I guess, but... I mean, you know how to cut a 45-degree angle. Yeah. I mean, I could do it. A couple jigs. I just don't want to. It's easier to buy them. Just I'm pissing getting, your money away. I'm getting lazy in my old age. Pissing man. your money away on frames. Pretty much. <laughs> I spent more money on frames, I think, than I did on any of these pictures and posters. I can honestly tell you, you've spent more on frames than I have ever spent <laughs> on frames in my entire life. Because I have never spent a single dollar on frames. Never. Other, you've never? Other than... Other than other than the four frames that I sent my mother with my son's photos in them. Oh, okay. But I've never... I'm not a framer. Yep. I still have more, too. I have to actually... I might have to make one because a couple of the uh, ones that I have that aren't framed yet, they're custom sizes. So, it's kind of hard to find. Like, they were tailored for you? Yeah, pretty much. 117 by 17. I mean, that's an odd number. It sure isn't. Those are two <laughs> odd numbers, yeah. <laughs> Not going to find a frame like that, Jim. What's in? What's the photo of? Uh, you see that sticker there of uh, Bat and Robin? Yes. This one? Yes, I know which one you're it's referring to. It's a large print of that. Whose is that? Uh, I believe the artist is Rob Israel. Israel? Oh, I'm not Rob. sure how to say his name. Rob mm -hmm. Israel. Israel is real. Rob Israel. Oh, see, complete nonsense. Yep. Like I was telling you before. No, I now I have a story. This is <laughs> nonsense. Please, please give us something. What? Why there? Ew. <laughs> uh, sorry, Ryan. So two nights ago, last week in the day, I was upstairs framing some of these, and at your house. Yeah, and not here. Not here. Oh, okay. My phone was downstairs charging, and it rang twice in a row, which usually that means something's something's up. Somebody needs to talk to me. All right. Did you did you go outside and look for the bat symbol or anything? Was that was, was there anything in the night sky? No, it was daytime. Oh, okay. Oh, right. So the two ring is not uh, two rings. It rang it, five times twice. Right. So ten whole rings back right. to back. Yes. Whew. Go ahead. So I I'd went, be I'd be very nervous. So I went downstairs and it was Barbara, who was home at the time. So I thought something. Was She's going. calling from in this house. <laughs> this is how every terrible teen murder story turns out. So I thought something might have been wrong. Uh huh. Can you pull up uh, Instagram on your? I can. I just pulled computer? up. I told, pulled up the actual map for. Oh shit! So that Muhlenberg Township. Right yes, there, Jim Dietrich, Dietrich Park. Park. So it's pretty damn close to me, but it is not this field that you are referring Show to. Show me the water tower. That's right by the baseball field. Right there. This is the field that I oh. thought it landed in. Okay. And if you notice, there's the water tower. This is Yim's home. Oh. Where's the water tower, though? Right over here. Straight there. Right here. Oh, okay. I see it now. All right. Well, I guess. I can I recreate know. it in uh, Microsoft Flight if you'd like that me to. That would be great. Should I? I mean, somebody probably. I know someone honest. that saw the fucking plane he's flying. He's dead. In, he's so we'll dead. So never know for real. Right, because he's probably the only person <laughs> ever to see the plane crash. All the people that took the pictures... They're at all, at the site, at the site that is recorded down historically, 
are probably dead too. Did Johnny take any pictures? No. Like uh, he was probably on a roof somewhere and was like, holy shit, that plane's on fire. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. But yeah, incorrect. It's uh it's it's like a couple miles away. All right. So I am so right. Anyway. I am correct again. You were wrong about the uh Amper's hammer. I admitted that. Yeah. We've already moved on. We've already moved along. Okay. Okay. So I don't like to be wrong. Barbara called me. It's my girlfriend. <coughs> uh, it's my aunt. She called me from Oh right, you're a listener. Yeah. That's, I don't need I to explain things to that you. Something was wrong. Oh, uh-huh, right, yeah. So I called her back, and she's like, where are you? Where? I was like, what's going on? She's like, I'm on the side of the house. Come over here quick. Like stuck on the side of the house? <laughs> <laughs> so I run over on the side of the house, and she's like, there's there's a there's a creature here. I don't know what's what's wrong with it. And So she's not afraid of it. She's afraid it might be injured. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it was soaking wet. Jesus, this reminds me of burying the cat. Oh, there? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> well, there's another quick. Uh, remind me about to tell you about the groundhog then, too. Ugh. This was a long time ago. Uh, so, <clears throat> it was wet, and there was something, like, covering its ear. And so, Was it a pregnant cat? No, no. Okay. No. So, <laughs> it was only it was only this big. Last time it was a pregnant cat. So it was like it was like crawled under this bush, and a turtle. <laughs> it was a it was a baby squirrel. A baby squirrel. Yeah. And so, did you I, feed it? Did well, you chew up your food and I? spit it in its mouth like a baby bird? <laughs> chew up some nuts. Can I? Can you bring up on Instagram? Uh no. Yeah, you can. You can get online on. You can Instagram. just do it on the print post. All right. So. Uh, you're dead. Post processing. So, I looked it up. I googled how to. Wait, you have a picture of the baby squirrel on your Instagram? Yeah. Oh yeah, I could do that. Right. So I googled. We how got. To, we're done with the Howard Hughes thing, yeah, right? I can yeah, move I on. I believe from that. you. I guess. <laughs> okay. I'll do a little more research tonight. And we'll bring it up next week. Uh, so, I. Uh, I googled about what to do if you find a baby squirrel and what the hell these things were on its on its ear because his ear was completely covered with these tiny little yellow Mice, things probably well i found out that they were fly eggs Oop. so i have a baby squirrel in my basement yeah no. i really don't want to talk about this right now i'm really freaked out by the fly thing they'll be fine i think, that's a, I think there's a dead person in so, my basement um, person. there's not a dead person so what's your name? Casey Shearer. That's what I thought. <laughs> On here? Yeah. And it doesn't come up. Are you hit? Did you block me? No. There you are. See? Oh, it fit your face. <laughs> <laughs> How can I miss it? That's not my Fisher face. <laughs> oh, if I bet you it is. Ew, Casey! Yeah. <laughs> what the frick? Are you taking pictures of this? Ugly ass thing for dude. Get it back to health first, and then take the pictures. Well, I had to show the process. So oh, that's not Baby even squirrels are ugly. I sin. I started. I mean, I I started working on him right away. That's that's about that's about a half an hour, forty five minutes into me cleaning him off because his ear was completely covered. So I are took those maggots or are they're they fly little, eggs. Oh, oh, oh but let me get to the maggots. maggots. No, no, wait. Let me get to the maggots. Does this have a fucking happy ending? I pulled five maggots out of his ear. Is this going to have a happy ending? Yes. Okay. So I pulled five maggots out of his ear. They were they had already hatched, and uh, so I took a, a plastic knife, and I scraped all that shit off of him, all those fly eggs, and then we had uh, Burt's Bee ear medicine for the dogs, and I put that in his ear, and then the maggots started coming out one by one and i took them out with a stick i'm gonna fucking vomit if we so move the fucking process along quick. so we also had some uh i can't even bl- we had some uh like waterless uh like dog shampoo that we sprayed him with cleaned sure him, cleaned him so you can see there 
that was the first night. So, and I was wearing gloves during this whole thing. So, uh, I put him in a box and put a bunch of like rags and all that stuff in, and put a heater down in the basement and covered it up. And he made it through the night. I get. Oh, I also. Uh, <laughs> so I went to. Uh, I went to like w Target or Walmart or somewhere at like midnight. To the baby squirrel section. <laughs> What the fuck? And got Pedialyte. You both know what Pedialyte is because you have babies. You have a small child of your own. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even fucking deal with this story. Just keep moving. And uh, so Dr. then Dr. Doolittle over a, here. I had a uh, a little uh Why did eye you dropper. not record this, this, this process on video? He was in dire need, man. He couldn't just... I had... I had, well, I, had, I could only stop to take a couple of pictures. So I get, if you get. Wait, get, wait, wait, wait. You could only stop to take a couple of pictures. So this was a process that you were so involved. Two days, bro. That you were involved. You probably, you didn't sleep. It was just nonstop. I didn't. I woke up like three times so, a night. To, <clears throat> no, twice to give him Pedialyte. You overnight. have time to be a, a squirrel surgeon. I don't know what what. I mean, why would you rehabilitator? You could and you didn't want to take it to the SPCA. You were just like, well, I'm gonna save this squirrel's ear. So we did a lot of research. You can't just take How, animals anywhere. When did you do a lot of research? Well, Barbers was doing it. Oh, while you were pulling the yeah, maggots yeah. out of its ear. Yeah. So go to the next. You go oh, to the God. next picture. No fucking time to. Uh, so then he made it through the hold night. Hold on, hold on, don't move. I got, I'm, I'm not familiar. <laughs> oh, those are evil Knievel patches. You can now buy the evil Knievel patches on. Uh, so that was that was overnight or the next morning. Those are the eyes uh, of a rabid squirrel, my friend. He was he was very dehydrated, but I gave. But you can see how small he is there. That's that's my the palm of my hand that he's in. And uh, not too small to murder you in your sleep. I had a I had a screen over him, over, over the cage. Well, not um, cage, but I had him in like a over your wood. face while you were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Give him free reign. I just covered my face with a screen so, overnight. If you go to the next one, you can see me giving him Pedialyte God. with the dropper there. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't fucking handle this. So uh, then, so I wanted to make sure that before I took him anywhere. That he was going to make it through the night. You know what I mean? If he wasn't going to make it through the night, why take him somewhere? You, you understand what I'm saying? So I drove that. His name's Bert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I named him Bert. <laughs> so <clears throat> I. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I then took that baby squirrel named Bert 48 minutes away. To Schuylkill County, to it's called Red Creek Wildlife uh, Center. Oh, the sanctuary. Well, it's called a uh, Red Creek Wildlife Center. Sanctuary. No. Oh. <laughs> Center. I'm gonna call it sanctuary. <laughs> and uh, the the there were three girls there. They took him right away. They put him in an incubator, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Put him right in the toilet. <laughs> nah, he's no good. <laughs> fed, fed him to the. I'm sorry, fed, sir. Fed you him wasted to the, your time. <laughs> they opened up the boa constrictor cage and just flipped him in there. <laughs> oh, good. We were running low on oh, feed. He <laughs> hates eggs. <laughs> he hates fly eggs. Thanks for that. We were running low on uh, snake oh. food. Thank you. I was at a party last night. They said they found that there was a bunch of dogs running around. They said. Lucy was. They picked him up on the picked her up on the side of the road. Somebody threw her out of the fucking car, covered in blood and shit. Beautiful little dog. Uh, well behaved and everything. It was just like, what the fuck? How could so, I, it's a so here's the kicker. They took her to. They called their, their SPCA or whatever, and uh, it cost two hundred and fifty dollars for them to report that the dog was thrown away. Say that they wanted to take the dog home. The dog got chipped and, and all of its shots, and then their adoption fees were two hundred and fifty dollars. 
I'm going to bring you this dog that I found. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking yeah. car on the side. And I'm yeah. paying, yeah. Right. Like, well, that, so I I pulled up this the website that you have up here, redcreekwildlifecenter.com, and I was reading about everything that, that they do. This lady, Peggy, started this back in the 80s, like out of her home, and now they're uh, they're – they she gave them like it's now a bigger place and they need more space and they gave or she's giving them her property and they're tearing her house down she's moving in with other people like family members and uh, they're gonna build this much bigger place so i'm reading all that and i do, so i donate fifty dollars right before i even left to go to the place and then I'm like getting the squirrel all ready to go, and Barbara's like, "Here's sixty dollars to give him for a donation when we get there." So I, I was like, I, I told Barbara, I was like, I gave him one hundred and ten dollars when I was there. She's like, "Where did you come up with that number? One hundred and ten? It's like, well, I gave him fifty before I left, and then you gave me the sixty. So, but uh, no, they're doing a lot of good things there, and they gave me a case number that I can call. To check up to on check Bert and see how if he how he's doing if he made it or what. So I give everybody a report next week and see if how Bert is doing if he made it or not. Good. Keep that's good. Now you so look, look. Here's the thing. I hate squirrels. I do not I like didn't them. Think you were a friend of animals in general? No, I love animals. You hate my cat. Nah. You didn't really care for Andy because you don't. Yeah. Because your dog was not well trained. No, I know that. The cat is just a kitten, and he's kind of a dick right now. But I, I do I like not, it. I do not dislike any animals. I like animals. I'm not a fan of squirrels because of the damage that they do to fucking people's houses and wires and all kinds of shit. But I will not see something suffer. I hate to see something suffer like that. Like what? With the oh, with the he had fly five ear. maggots in his ears. I heard you the first time. Get a fucking grip. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What about the maggots? You could see the, who's fighting for the oh, maggots. Fuck those maggots. Yeah, fuck them for you real. They're in my those, basement. You could see like the relief on his face though when I was like taking. He's just like when you were like <laughs> biting, yeah. pulling him out one at a time with your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> So, so let's my talk about my of the... insane cousin who calls me twice last night on my cell phone. Okay. Kara. So did you think maybe that there was a, da a distressed squirrel somewhere? No, no, no. I didn't think that there was a distressed squirrel because Kara would be distressing. I, I would imagine she, if there was a squirrel in that house, oh, yeah. she'd be trying to eject the squirrel from the house. <laughs> If somebody found a squirrel, she'd be like, oh, that's so adorable. If she found a squirrel in a nest, a squirrel nest in her backyard, she'd raise the squirrel, I'm sure, like she has with her bird friends. Yeah, yeah. No, last night she decided to call me uh, after I had been asleep for about 15 minutes at like quarter to 10. Uh, called me twice. I didn't answer, didn't answer. Sends, calls Devin twice. She doesn't answer, doesn't answer. Sends me a text saying it's an emergency. Thanks again, Kara. I call her, and uh, what happened? The emergency was that she just wanted to let me know that she was hanging out with Tara, who's a friend, another friend of mine. <laughs> that was it. Yep. So she's okay, everybody. <laughs> Thanks again, Kara. I had to. I still have to explain to her why I was asleep at quarter to ten. I didn't think I'd have to explain why I go to sleep to anybody. I'm a grown man. But apparently I have to have that conversation. So, thanks again. Why couldn't she have just texted you? It probably well, you wouldn't be probably nearly was. this funny. The white claws. The, excuse me? I think that, like, there's a, a new craze going around. What's with you with and the these white, fucking trends? White claws. How can you not you're see that? You're I don't do them. Your number neighbor. Now I don't do the number one. neighbor. You got one, yeah, but I didn't. Well, the train the train's that. already through the station. I haven't gotten one yet. I just know about these trends. Tell me how you know about. 
White Claw? White Claw. Because everybody's posting oh, the about drink? It on social media. Mm. Oh, seltzer. It's just flavored seltzer mm. water. Yeah, but that's what they were drinking last night on her Instagram story. That you're ain't no laws when there's white claws. What's the what's the say? Ain't no law. I don't, again when don't you're, know. <laughs> you're drinking white claw. How do you have time for this shit? How do you even know that? Social media. My God. I look at it. It's trending. Oh, good. Things that are trending. Like your haircut. Your, tongue, your glasses. <laughs> that 818 shirt. <laughs> God, you're so on topic right now. So. Oh, I have to give my cousin uh, Morgan a shout out. Is that Morgan. what we're doing today? We're just talking about direct immediate family my, members. She, she, so it, then my grandmother says, <laughs> I'm sorry, go back she's to She's a listener. Morgan and now is? a YouTube viewer. And she commented on the one video and was like, how about a shout out? So I went to see them in uh, Colorado. Remember when I went to see my aunts and cousins and uncles in Colorado? My aunt and uncle in Colorado and my cousins. <laughs> she wasn't there. How is that any different than the first? The first your, oh, because you said Cause aunts I, and uncles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was only an, an aunt and an uncle. There was actually only two people. He, he could have saved a lot Out of all that, saying, there was only two people. He could have said, like, I went to see my family. Right. And yeah. <laughs> not talk for 30 yeah. seconds, so... <laughs> But she Morgan wasn't there because she was in jail at the time. So shout out, yeah. <laughs> you're so dick. stop going to jail. Yep. <laughs> Spoken from somebody. <laughs> that's in my notes too. Times I've been arrested. <laughs> but we you don't want to get that, into that's, that. That's probably a much longer episode. Most likely. So uh, uh, two weeks we're going to start. Berks County's unsolved. Okay. I have it in my agenda. Well, two weeks from today, which would be a week from today. Yeah. Well, six days from today. What? <laughs> well, when this no, when this releases next week. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, and then a week after that. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, though Toby's gonna be with us. Yeah, yeah. As we can, well, whatever the following week. So. What do you think of the new segment that we've been talking about for a while? <laughs> that we haven't done yet. Berks County. <laughs> I, keep, I keep waiting for it. So, yeah. <laughs> Us too. <laughs> we'll no, I, no, I listen to a lot of the true crime stuff on podcasts and stuff. That's yeah. basically what I do listen to. Is well, we're trying to ride the coattails. Yeah, yeah. it's huge right now. So mm-hmm. that's what yeah. we're trying to, <laughs> yeah. trying to get the train rolling there. But it's taking a little more time than mm-hmm. uh, that and crime dramas. So I don't yeah, really feel yeah. like getting into a crime drama. Right. So we'll just do some unsolved murders yeah, from there you go. our local... Did I tell you I went to the Game Museum down in Ephrata? Oh no, but how is it? It's pretty cool. There's a there's a place in Lancaster too. Uh, bark uh, decades. It's a bowling alley, arcade, bar, restaurant. But I, I've heard that Game Museum is yeah Game Museum. It's run by the. It's just like a a couple. They're in. I think they're twenty. Mm. Both of them twenty. The girl might even be nineteen, but. Uh, tons and tons of old just like games when we were kids mm-hmm. growing up and going to the arcade and shit like uh street fighter do they have Kombat. the punch out that has the remember remember uh major magics yeah they had a machine there and it was i don't know if that it was a punch out but it was a boxing game and it had two like joysticks they weren't joysticks they were just it looked like a uh, it was just a handle that uh-huh. wrapped around your wrist then and you, you could move it. Uh, and, I don't uh, remember that and, one. And it was like, it was it was a good one. Yeah, I don't remember that. One. I, don't remember I haven't that. seen it since like major, well, whatever Chuck E. Cheese, yeah, whatever yeah. that was. Well, that's what that place is. It's like the history of all the arcade yeah. games, right? Yeah, they he started buying them from when the the old Pac Man, mm-hmm. like Galaga or Galaga or whatever it's called. Uh, so what? It, like you pay like twenty bucks and you hang pay, out there for a couple hours. It's, yeah, it's ten bucks for an hour. And they give you like a five minute window if you go over. So, but for an all day pass, it's twenty five bucks. And there's no, you pay that twenty five bucks, and you can play as much as you want. You just push a, you know. Remember how Joe had it set up at his house? The guy we used to work for that, you just have to push a button and it starts the game. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's pretty neat. Hmm. Tons of pinball game, uh, pinball machines, 
Uh, I want to go back because remember that Royal Rumble game mm-hmm. they used to have with the, the four, four player? Yeah, yeah. He's got that, but it says under construction. So mm-hmm. uh, I want to go back and play that. But uh, yeah, it was it was really fun. I, Andy and I were there. I took Andy down mm-hmm. when he was up, and uh, we were there for like an hour and a half. Cool, had a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he was like he, he usually likes going to the works, and uh, he's like. I'm really glad we, we went there instead of going to the works because I never played a lot of those games. And he's like, it was just no more a bunch of asshole kids yeah, running yeah, around exactly. either. Mm-hmm. Sorry, asshole kids, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was in an arcade last summer with it, we were down in Cape May and it started raining, so we ducked into the yeah. arcade and just figured because he was like two at the time, just yeah. turned two. We're like, oh, sure, go ahead, go nuts, see what he wants to do, whatever. And he had no interest, but it's like just a ton of kids running around yeah. everywhere. So, fuck that. Yeah, no. We walked into, we did the boardwalk down in AC this for the in Wildwood mm-hmm. uh, for a trip. And yeah, he would, like, no desire. You mm-hmm. know, all the, like, claw machines. Devin, yeah. I had to I had to convince her to get out and stop giving my money away. She's like, oh, we can get him a plushie. I'm mm-hmm. like, why don't we just get him a plushie? Like, let's go buy him a plushie. Right, right. Right. Nope, let's stick a couple dollars. Do- one, one play, one dollar. <laughs> 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 You know what, Jim? Though? I'm, I'm a victim of it every time we go to the, a diner, a, a, a store that has it. I don't we were care at the if it's yesterday. here because it's like a quarter. When you're at fucking Wildwood, it's, well, like, it's a, like a buck up there now, right. 50 cents oh. a play or whatever. It's yeah, well, Like I said, there's nicer and easier ways to yeah. donate your money. <laughs> yeah, give it to the Red Creek uh, Wildwood. There, there you go. go. Yeah, Take care of Bert. Hook Bert the Squirrel. Bert the Squirrel. Could be our new mascot. Uh, it could be. I was thinking about keeping him. It could have been my... Uh, um, if they bring him back to health, like full health, are you going to take him in? No. No, you're not going to be a squirrelist. No, no. no. Now, now you realize they could completely bullshit you when you call to check. Oh, oh yeah, 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 sure, he's great. great. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. threw him to the boa right away, you know. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I hope they don't do that. <laughs> uh, tell me about the Burger King taco. It was disgusting. I have that in my notes. Uh, it's equatable to if you took, if I was you thinking, took like a like a Tostito. <laughs> and and put it in and put and put cheese on it and put tostito. it in the microwave. I'm to think of what a tostito is. Like a like not a Dorito, a tostito. Oh yeah, like yeah, a yeah, bigger, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like plain, a, like no a, flavor to- tostito. The tortilla chip. Yeah. Um, put like some shredded cheddar on that and put it in the microwave for a little bit too long, and it gets kind of soggy, and then bake it. So it gets really hard and stale. That flavor, though, the flavor of a... It's like salty tortilla yeah, yeah, yeah. with, like, overcooked cheese and the texture of a overcooked tortilla and overcooked cheese. And I, I didn't know if there was meat in it or not. I gave... <laughs> I've heard there's like no meat. In I gave so the second I one. I haven't tried it yet. So. I'll, I'll be honest. I don't share food very frequently unless I'm getting enough for everybody. <laughs> I walked the other one back into the shop and just slid it on my buddy's desk. And I was like, you can have that if you want it or throw it away. I think he took a bite or two of it and tossed, <laughs> tossed it. it. Oh, yeah. When I saw the commercial 99 for cents it, is too much for those things. When I saw the commercial for it, it reminded me a lot of, uh, remember Taco Casa in the mall? Mm-hmm. That's what no, it looked like. No, it wasn't, though. It wasn't? No. No, it was more along the lines of, like, if you got uh, a, like a, a, a frozen pack of um, tacos at, like, a mini mart at 4 o'clock in the morning in a big city. <laughs> And then took it home and put it in a microwave that didn't work <laughs> as well as you thought. And then forgot about them and had to reheat them. That's what it would be like. <laughs> telling you. They weren't it good. It sounds like you might have done that something like that before. I know I know I know how I know how to I know how to oh, re- I know how to recreate flavors, man. You're uh what did you say last week? You're uh, a word illustrator? Did I say that? <laughs> Something like that. You illustrate with your words. It's true. I paint a picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, John, I just got a text here. It says, from Jonathan Lee Madera. If you are currently doing the podcast, please please be sure to give the listeners an update on what's happening in youth baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> what a fucking asshole! 
<laughs> Give the people what they want. <laughs> Where's the last? Is that a group text? No. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Oh, oh God. that's I'm, funny. Well, at least I know how to cut things out of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that's on here now. He's gonna that's find out anyway. So funny. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, John, 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 John. <laughs> uh, so something I noticed in uh, flying first class. You know, I travel for work, Ryan. We all know. We all <laughs> fucking know. Did you are you surprised at that, Ryan? Did he did he know that he traveled no, first class? There? I mean, how'd that happen? Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so Did Mr. America call you again? Actually, yeah, twice. But I haven't answered, but uh I still continue on every one of my flights I've been getting upgraded to first class, so I'm just gonna keep not answering and they'll maybe think that I'm just upset and they'll just keep upgrading me. Okay. I guess that's one way to play it. Yeah. Maybe he just wants to tell you, like, we're going to permanently upgrade you every time we get a chance. And we're going to give you this $50,000 if you answer your fucking phone. We only have two more shots to answer your phone, so. Uh, maybe I'll answer next time. See? Just in case. You never know. Uh, Mr. So, America calls you, answer. You're so, Casey Shear. He I wouldn't know. just be calling you to chat. That's oh, at words. Be. Maybe he might. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Casey Shear. He might just be calling to talk. Get your opinion on maybe some policy changes. I gave him well, well the first time that Mr. America called. Remember, I told you, I, I remember, told them of uh, say things something like that, that I would change. Is remember because I was sitting in the back towards the back, but I was I'm a uh, executive platinum priority. So sometimes they run out of food by the time. Remember that? Oh, yeah. You had to tell your buddy Steve to give you your sandwich ahead of time. And he had to, hold, <laughs> sir, we don't hold things. And then lo and behold, uh, they found out who you were and you got your turkey salad. I don't know. <laughs> that was exactly it, except I didn't get turkey salad. Is turkey salad a thing? I just kind of <laughs> combined a turkey hoagie and tuna salad. We could make it a thing. That's kind of gross. Just uh, it it's mayo. like chicken salad with turkey. There, there has to be a turkey salad. It has to be. Anyway, so I've been getting upgraded on these it's last the couple of flights. Thing, yeah. and Every flight you get upgraded. Right. So <laughs> they give you, uh, they ask you if you want a drink before the takeoff, right? So I always usually get a Diet Coke. But then whether you finish that or not, they always take it back before takeoff, right? Because they don't want that cup sitting there. What was that? Diet Pepsi, Diet Coke. <laughs> Diet Coke, yeah. So well, wait, they take it back. Yeah, they like what if it's in your hand? They, they ask for it. They argue with you. Did you get it? Give me your soda back. Yeah, they ask for Why? it. Why? Because of, because I guess because of the plane taking off, they don't want it to spill like during takeoff or whatever. Okay. So here's my problem with that. If I bring, let's say I don't go to these places, but let's say I would bring a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts coffee in. And I have that sitting there. They don't request my seat partner for his fucking drink. That's sitting there. That could. Why did you have the? So why did you have the Starbucks and then your well, seat I'm partner? Saying, Are you I just did. confused. What everybody. if my seat partner? That made no it. sense what when you said my, like that. He had a Starbucks. Right. Why wouldn't they ask him to take his Starbucks? Right. But they asked to take your Diet Coke. Right. Because they give you the Diet Coke. No, he because paid for they're, his drink. They're, they're instigating an argument. They want to get you riled up so that they can drag your ass off the plane. They know who you are. They Sounds want, legit. That's probably why Mr. America's calling you. I would never say anything on a plane like that. Well, uh, stop looking at your neighbor and judging what their drink, what their on onboard <laughs> drinks are. Or buy a fucking soda think, before you get on the plane if you don't want them to take their soda back. I usually do. Have well, then what are you arguing about? What's the fight? What, what? What's the fight? Why must I give my open container drink back to them, but he can have his? I don't know. We need to talk he about what, for. what fly eggs look like. <laughs> we need to identify where the fly They're eggs. little yellow. I see them on your on squirrel. squirrel ear. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that's my argument. Okay, great. About first class flying. I can really relate to that argument, so I'm sure all of our listeners really want to talk about it. Well, they wouldn't be talking about it. They'd be no, listening. because they're just not flying first class. I'm sure some of our listeners are flying first out of class. Our, out of the 103 people that watched last week's episode, 
How many would you say fly first class? I don't know. <laughs> I would venture to guess six tops. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe zero. <laughs> Except for the fact that you probably watched that episode six times. <laughs> Maybe more. <laughs> uh, you could be right. Probably. Twice today. Once today. Twice. The Howard Hughes thing. What about, what was the second thing? The thing right now. What were we just talking about? <laughs> the drinks? <laughs> I forget. There was no confusion about what... the drinks. All right. Weren't we just having an argument? Yeah, about the drinks. Why he can have his drink and why I can't have mine. Rules. They gave you the drink. They could take it away. Don't spill their shit on their rug. They want to take it away. Well, so this is. You want to spill your shit on my rug? You're going to pay for my rug. <laughs> so you think if I would next week, I bring a drink in. That I paid for. I set it there. I take the lid off. During <laughs> during flight, I accidentally... Fuck your couch! <laughs> you knock accidentally it knock it right off of <laughs> your guy's lap. Yeah. I all have the, to all not over the pay carpet. for that carpet? You just bought that seat, Hoss. <laughs> you just bought that whole row. <laughs> I don't know how so. first class works. I'm a peon. Peasant. Same thing. It's all right. We just, I hop in my company jet and we fly around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have anything else for us, Ryan? No, not really. Just just doing the podcast. And do some plugs? Things. Yeah, tell us about the podcast. Well, the podcast, I started the podcast mainly because I was doing the same place every Friday night at that time, and it was getting really complacent. You know, you're doing the same shit every time, sure. same song, same people requesting the same things. It's, yeah, people always want to hear the same. Song yeah, it's the, I'd have like the same five people come in and re- request the same ten songs every week, and it's like you know. I'm sorry. No. What? <laughs> it's just you following the Grateful Dead around for a better part of your life. Yeah, the Grateful Dead have never played the same concert one time. No, it's the same it's seven the songs same? though. No, it's not. <laughs> just flip the order, you know. <laughs> yeah. How dare you? <laughs> Whatever. But no, I just got sick of doing like the complacent thing and doing the same songs every week. Sure. So I was like, you know, I was kind of getting bored with it, actually. So I was talking to my wife and I was like, I just want to do something, maybe like a weekly mix. Just put it out there. If people listen, great. If not, it's almost like therapy for me. Mm-hmm. You know, work with different, like every week's a different type of thing, different genre. Sometimes it's a special guest DJ. And I've had DJs from all over. I've had guys from L.A., the Midwest. Nice. Bloodhound Gang. Yes. You're buddies with that guy? Um, their DJ, DJ Q-Ball, books a lot of my stuff for me. Really? Um, I got to know him. He came in and did 1402 one time back in the day when we did like a DJ mm-hmm. event. Got to know him pretty well. And actually, when I moved out of Berks County, now I moved back in, but when I moved down to Pottstown at first, I didn't have any connections down there for like any gigs and stuff. And I just reached out to him. I'm like, hey, if you know of anything, let me know. And he's like, oh, I got you. Don't worry about it. And he started just booking me. And then... Nice. I'm no. pretty sure him and... Well... I think Sharky, somebody, one of our close friends was friends with somebody from the Bloodhound Gang. I don't know. It was a couple moons mm-hmm. ago. But Are they still around? Bloodhound Gang? They, they do. Um, they toured. I mean, they just got in trouble a couple years ago over in Russia or whatever. They got, like, kicked out the country for Jesus. a flag stunt or something. Yeah. So, They're but, a uh, over the top. Yeah, they were always, like, you know, for the shock value stuff like that. I mean, I mean, even if you just, like, follow them on Instagram or Twitter, like Jimmy Pop, for example. Yeah, I don't have... I do yeah. have an Instagram that we were just looking at. Yeah. I probably haven't looked at looked mm-hmm. at it in three or four years. At words J period <laughs> A period D period A period M. No period. No period. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. But yeah, he actually kind of kept me afloat. Like when fourteen oh two closed, actually Joel too. Joel got me my first gig after like 14 or two he had a friend that managed like i think it was the lookout it was called at the time nice. over by alvernia and joel reached out to me he's like they're looking for entertainment nice. I, I, I gave him your name can i give him your number i'm like sure and it got in touch with the guy and ended up had a pretty much pretty much a residency over there like every friday for a while for about a year or so and then it kind of fizzled out and they weren't paying 
great, you know. Sure. You're trying to get your foot in the door. You take what you got at first. You sure. Because like, I lost fourteen and two. I was doing Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday night every week. Mm. It was a guarantee mm-hmm. that I was in some capacity doing something for him. That sucks. And then you kind of got to put your foot back in the door because I said it's a gift and a curse. I mean, I appreciated their loyalty and gave them their loyal my loyalty. But it also kept me from when it closed. It was like, well, what the hell am I gonna do now? Yeah. Now I started with the new place down there. That one just wasn't wasn't the same, and I didn't really. I haven't been in. What's uh, what's it called? I think it's called Reverb. Reverb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They do mostly concerts and stuff anyway. But um, we started like when they first opened up doing some like Thursday night stuff, just trying to, and it just it wasn't the same. It wasn't the nightclub vibe, and they're doing the like I said, more of a concert venue type thing. So, I mean, I guess I guess they're making their money that way. I saw Jim Brewer and his heavy metal band there once. He did comedy and mm-hmm. then he came out with his heavy metal band. Nice. I left after the mm-hmm. comedy. <laughs> the other heavy metal band wasn't for you? No. no. <laughs> Not at all. I think I only saw like two shows in there after it became Brewer. I saw Inner Party System when they were first. They were like the local band that kind of blew up a little bit, but never. I mean, he's a friend of mine too. I still keep in touch with the one guy. He does like EDM music now. But uh saw them and I saw CKY in there mm. once, but. Yeah. Other than that, I don't know that I've ever seen anything in there. I, I was I used to go in there when it was O two, but mm-hmm. again, like on I think they, I think they got like midget wrestling next Nickel week. Nah. I think so. Should we see if we well, can uh, in, in announce the, in the no. in the <laughs> timeline? It would have been two days ago, so ah, I think it's Friday night we this week. So. Fuck, this guy knows the fucking <laughs> timeline. I'm fucked. <laughs> uh, I'm going to see your buddy, Dave Matthews. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, he's going to be at Farm Aid. Oh, nice. Yeah, we got tickets for Farm Aid in... Uh, so you're going to see Lucas and Willie and all that. Yeah, them. Lucas, Willie, uh, John Cougar. Melon Camp. It's, I think it's just... It actually... I think it's just I, John Melon Camp. Yeah, I don't think he has the Cougar anymore. I think you jock. I still call him the Cougar. <laughs> to his face. <laughs> well, when if you, I see him backstage... When you call him on your landline. <laughs> <laughs> when I see him backstage, hey, Cougar. You bring in your blue jeans? On the, bu- <laughs> on the bus? Bring me a pair. Of- <laughs> bring me a pair of light blue jeans. Uh, Bonnie Raitt's going to be there. Uh, wow. I'm trying to think. Neil Young? Cheryl Crow? No, no, Cheryl, no. B- Barbara really wants to see Neil Young, so that's what we're uh, we're going to go up for. Hmm. You think he's the next next one to, to fall, fall into the curse? Is that what you're telling me? Oh God, I hope not. Me too, but I mean... I love all of them, yeah. You don't get close to him then. Don't talk to any of those fucking people that you just mentioned. Well, Will, you can't get close to. No. He'll be on his pot bus, though. I will be on his pot bus. <laughs> yes, yes, I will. That's amazing. I mean, the curse might be broken. I mean, Kevin's still alive from now. Yeah. So far, as of now. Bruce Campbell's still alive. <laughs> Bruce the guys, Campbell's Bruce Campbell. The guys from uh, Cobra Kai. So, the curse has been broken. Okay, good. Yeah. I it did worry with Kevin. It only cost fucking that. six lives. Yeah, I think you commented. <laughs> Innocent <laughs> lives. Yep. Ryan commented I like, on I was like, I'll stop following the podcast that. if <laughs> Kevin dies. <laughs> That's funny, buddy. I still have hope for a reboot of that show, so don't, <laughs> don't ruin it for me. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. Oh, man. I'm going down to see Bruce uh, Campbell worried. again in uh, October in uh, Maryland, Huntsville, Maryland. To have Monster. drinks with him, or are you going Monster to? Monster Mania. A Comic-Con. Yeah. It's like more of a horror con. You're going to take your Predator Providence? No. <laughs> so just no. let everybody know that you got that. Yeah, that's my. That's mm-hmm. probably my favorite out of all of them. It's a good one. Good, man. Good. I'm glad for you. Glad everything's really coming coming into, into your own. Thank you, buddy. Getting all your frames framed up. And I was comments. at the Evil Knievel Museum again. I saw on your. I didn't Facebook. go in the museum. Though. I, I didn't want to bring it up because honestly, I'm sick of talking about it. I just bought ahead. some uh, patches. Oh, I did a see the patches. patches. Yeah, I, patches are all the rage now. They are, man. Yeah, it's gonna be. A These big, are the best quality big patch patches revival that I've ever seen. Mm. Hey, I told you the. Uh, you get a bunch of leather jackets just so I'm ready. The fanny packs. Remember, yep. I told you they were gonna be back. Uh, they are back in full swing. Yeah. That's where you keep all your legal marijuana now. <laughs> Based on what I saw at the Jersey Shore, there's a lot of weird-looking people with fanny packs on, and that's the only thing I could think of. That's where they keep their drugs. Just like before. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty Sen- much. Essentially, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, they're back. So, that's all I got, man. 
That's and all a I got. pretty mundane week back to reality. So, any plugs? Where can people follow you? At? Um, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter is at DJ Valid zero three. I think zero it's three. and I think it's at words. At, at words, yes, at words. <laughs> DJ Valid zero three. We'll we'll, we'll make Christ. Morgani happy a little. But uh, can you do any weird fucking arm tricks before we? No, go? I do not. <laughs> I have to we'll check with all of our guests shit. now. He fucking yeah. set a precedent. You want to flail around the fucking room like a wild man? Oh, but no, oh. you can you can uh, you can search DJ Valid on Mixcloud.com and it should pop up. It's a validation podcast every week, just a different different genre of music, maybe a different DJ every so often, but just something different every week. It's an hour or so of just some music for people. So cool, Great. very cool. Yeah. Uh, and you do private gigs too. So mm-hmm. if anybody wants yep. to get a hold of you, yeah, ask. weddings, parties, bars, clubs. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. Send me a message. You know, cool. I, like, I'll put a link in the yeah. profile as well. All right. Anything from you there? Eight one eight. Uh, no. Patreon dot com slash chicken duck chicken duck pod dot com. You can watch all our videos right from the website now. Our website. Nice. Great. Well, thanks for joining us. Subscribe on YouTube. Leave Subscribe. comments. Subscribe. Like. Hit the like button. And Rate and I review. I hate when people do that. It it's been emotional. Goodbye.